Hey guys, welcome to my channel F1 Sports Cards. My name's Glenn, and today we're going to be opening up the brand new Topps Chrome 2023. Let's go, baby! Before we get into today's video, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that smashes up the like button on these videos. It helps the channel grow, and I want to grow this F1 collectible card hobby in the UK and around the world. If you are new to this channel, we talk about F1 collectible cards and other stuff like piggy banks and uh, uh, pop characters. So if you like any of those topics, make sure you smash the subscribe button so you get notified next time I upload a new video. You can also get extra content from me by following me over on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and the Facebook group under the name F1 Sports Cards. There's about 4,000 followers in the Facebook group now. So if I can't answer you any of your questions, I'm sure one of the guys in the group will. You can also take part in any of my box breaks for especially the new Chrome set this weekend, the launch weekend of this. As of recording this video, uh, I will be ripping this open live on WhatNot on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll also be doing some giveaways. We've got, we're giving away a George Russell mini helmet in Friday's show. Plus I'll be giving away some free packs. So you could even get involved in some F1 Chrome completely free of charge. So make sure you use the uh, link in the description down below to sign up to WhatNot and follow me under the name Hammond's Hobbies. Right, so let's get into today's video then, shall we? Which is gonna be an exciting one because this is gonna be the very first time that I'm personally gonna be seeing the brand new Chrome set for 2023. I'm super excited, I hope you guys are too. A few of you have messaged me recently saying, Glenn, how do you best prepare your cards for grading? You guys know I'm not a huge grader. Uh, I like to collect complete sets in binders, but obviously if I do hit any single cards in here that I feel are worth grading, uh, obviously I wear these powderless gloves so a lot of the medical gloves have sort of like a powder residue these ones that i've bought from screw fix uh, they have these rigid edges and they have no um, residue so it doesn't leave any marks on the cards also i've opened up a brand new pack of volt x uh, semi rigids ready to send off to psa if need be and obviously i've got a brand new pack of sleeves so I'm giving the cards the best opportunity. Now you can go one level further than that and people do stuff like cleaning cards and stuff like that. I'm not on that level, but one day I may be. But let's open this up, this Topps Chrome 2023 brand new product. Now the main chases are gonna be the four drivers that are featured on the front of this box. Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, Oscar Piastri and Charles Leclerc. On top of that, obviously the legends. So you've got Michael Schumacher, Alan Prost, Ayrton Senna, that's personally one of the cards that I'm going to chase uh, harder than the others, is Ayrton Senna. Um, so I'm really excited about opening this product up. Fingers crossed we hit a really low hit, uh, but this is going to be my first experience opening up a Topps Chrome box. I'm going to share it with you guys live in this video. So if you like this content, make sure you smash up the like button to let me know that you like this content. I have to say, do you know how much self-control I needed as well to not open a box until I got all my lights, cameras, phone, everything all set up uh, to open this product? <laughs> right, so first off, the packaging. Let's have a little look, shall we? So we have got uh, usual uh, sort of foil from uh, Topps Chrome. They're pretty neat and uh, tidy, which is always good. Um, and they're in this sort of like a purple, white, wave effect uh, i believe this is what the new uh purple tone color parallel is going to look like uh, as well as we're also looking for the brand new aqua wave obviously if we can hit an autograph that would be fantastic if we can hit a um crest card like one of the team logos they are going to be super rare hits uh, but let's see what we get into this may be a longer video than normal i'm not going to do the usual fast forwarding because this is my first time opening the product so i want you guys to get my first initial reactions on this product so we start off with that has to be didn't it he was a he was a but F2, so what we notice about these chrome cards is obviously you have the chrome edging like always. Uh, but this year they've actually done a uh, 
a, an effect where the F2 logo is in this sort of like, I don't know what you call it, hexagon shape type thing. Uh, and then it has the driver number beside it in a, an additional triangle. And then we have the two corners which are starred. I like this about the sets that there's always a unique thing that makes them stand out. When you're shifting through loads of bulk cards like I do, I, you know, obviously you guys know I store tens of thousands of cards. When I buy bulk sets off, you know, you guys in the group and stuff like that, I like to be able to quickly scan through and go, right, that's 2020, that's 2021, and that's 2022. Obviously now we're adding to that with 2023. Well, for me, I'm always going to know, based on the stars in the bottom corner, that this is a card from the 2023 set so that's Iwasa we've got Lance Stroll this image I don't know why it looks like his face is CGI'd onto his body I don't know why his head looks a lot bigger than it should be it looks a lot more uh, photoshopped I don't know what do you guys think someone shared this image in the group someone hit a parallel of it and I was like why is Lance Stroll's head superimposed onto his body <laughs> Next card is Daniel Ricardo, driver of the day, Mexico, in the McLaren outfit. That is a <laughs> that is going to blow a car. I did never thought of this. Daniel Ricardo is in McLaren and AlphaTauri in this set. I never thought about that. And then we have the Speed Demons now. This in the uh, Facebook group. Obviously, there's a group chat that there's uh, a couple of thousand people in it. People have been sharing images. So even though this is my first experience with these cards, I have seen some of these images, obviously through online, uh, but also people sharing them in the group chat, Facebook group, F1 Sports Cards. Um, and people are really torn about these. Some people hate them. Some people, uh, the terms that I've heard being used in the group chat is gimmicky, childish, uh, tacky. Some people like them. Me personally, what do I think? I think they'll grow on me. I've I've seen people hitting a David Coulthard one. I thought, oh, I really want to hit that one. It's not my cup of tea. That's what I'm going to say. It's not my cup of tea. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. What are your thoughts on these speed demons? Now, they're on refractors. Uh, maybe, maybe in the color. The one that I saw shared online was a George Russell gold. And actually, with the gold around the edge, it actually looked quite nice um i bet in reds and oranges these look really smart because it will match in with the rest of the card but it being in a box in the middle of a refractor chrome card i don't know just i don't know i think that's gonna you know split people with people are either gonna love it or they're gonna hate it so i'd love to hear what uh camp you're in do you love the speed demons or do you hate them We've got Max Verstappen, our first Max Verstappen card. So we've got a Max Verstappen Grand Prix winner for the first card of this pack. Then we have Fernando Alonso. Sebastian Vettel. <laughs> Fernando Alonso in the Aston Martin and Sebastian Vettel. Controversial. And then we've got the first Camba card. So these are the Camber cards that we were talking about on the checklist video. If you haven't seen that, make sure you give that uh, video a watch. I explain all the different inserts, all the different parallels. I don't understand why there's like four or five of each driver in this. Um, I've actually read the back of one that's again, someone shared online and it doesn't mention anything about the camber of the tires. So I don't actually know what these are meant to represent, but there you go. That's the insert set for camber. Obviously I'm gonna have to collect the whole set in gold wave. As you guys know hey one of the legends we've got alan prost nice one so in the legends have this sort of gold text and they've made the um the image sort of like a that is it sepia negative sort of uh, image um has like a gold tint to it i like that it's got alan prost still actually because they've removed all the logos off a lot of their clothes but that one still has alan prost stitched into his uh to his top there i quite like that so I like the legends. We've got Kevin Magnussen. We haven't hit a parallel yet. Sergio Perez, driver of the day for Great Britain. And then we've got a refractor for Max Verstappen. Nice. What do you guys think of these refractors this year? I'll tell you what we haven't hit. I don't think we've hit a portrait of a driver yet. The main portrait. Usually there's a main portrait card of every driver that people like to collect. 
don't think we've hit one yet. We got Jihan Deruvula for F2. Theo Pocher for F2. Hey, our first parallel. And we have, it's an F2. This is an F2 pack. We've got Cordell. And this is the true purple out of 399. And something to point out. The numbers are on the front of the card. I don't know if you guys can see that. Usually you have to turn the card around and, and show what, what the numbering is. But actually the numbering is there. So this one is, and it's quite hard to see actually. This one's 89 out of 399. So what do you guys think about that? The numbering being on the front of the card as opposed to the back. I quite like it. It reminds me of F1 Lights Out. That The numbering for all those are on the front. Uh, but this is the true purple and this is a portrait shot which looks pretty smart and then we've got logan Sargent. so this is our first f1 portrait and it's in a refractor as well not too bad not too shabby obviously logan Sargent being a rookie for this year's set so what they've done is for this uh, portrait set they've actually uh, made this background have all these sort of like lines with like the white painted lines that go down the middle of a road um, and then you've got all these stripes so I think that's a really cool effect what do you guys think of these portrait shots these are going to be the main chases that people want obviously people want these in parallels everyone wants a super fractor of one of these uh, and I would imagine this is what their autographs are going to be like as well but obviously with the autograph sticker over the front so Logan Sargent in a refractor portrait and then we have an F2 as well so these are the differences in the uh, logos down here saying else I want to bring up we've got the F1 logo and the F2 logo and the F1 logo is a lot bigger than the F2 logo um, I assume that's because F1 is just the F1 logo. There's actually no writing below it or above it. Whereas the F2, they've obviously had to crop the image in to fit in this text underneath that says F1 Formula 2 Championship. Um, so I assume that's why the F2 logo is smaller. But our first parallel hit, so we're going to put that in our semi-rigids. Does that mean I'm going to send it off for grading? No, but I'm going to put this aside. And then what I'm going to do is at the end of this box, I'm going to go through and show you guys all the hits so you know, okay, that's what I can expect from a full box of Chrome. They've changed it up this year. They've included 20 packs, four cards per pack. So uh, there's a lot more cards in these boxes this year. Ah, oh, Lewis Hamilton portrait, nice. So it has that nice, uh, I don't know, artwork in the background. So I actually quite like these portraits this year. So I'm a fan of the legends. I'm a fan of the portraits. Not too sure about the speed demons and the cambers. We got Kevin Magnussen in the car. We got Charles Leclerc, Grand Prix driver of the day for Canada. Then we've got a camber card for Charles Leclerc. Now, because the inserts are one in every three packs, that's one in every three packs for Camber, one in every four or five packs for Speed Demons, and then you have the other inserts like World of Wheels type cards. Uh, they're going to be one in every three packs. So basically, almost every pack should contain a refractor or an insert. There we go, we've hit another Camber. Charles Leclerc, winner for Bahrain. Yuki Tsunoda. Sergio Perez and we got Sergio Perez for the camber. Ralph Bouchang for F2 and this is our very first uh, I'm going to call them World of Wheels <laughs> they seem to, but they usually feature an insert with a car card. This is Carlos Sainz so they've gone for the colour team match colour at the bottom with this sort of like art deco style font but then above, Scuderia Ferrari is in blue. Maybe they've gone for like the opposite of whatever their team color is. I don't know. I don't know. But what do you guys think of these cards? And more importantly, it's quite rare actually. These cards are black. Usually all the chrome base set is uh, in chrome or refractor. These are in black. The actual car uh, image on the inside is in uh, refractor form. But what do you guys think of this black artwork? 
I would have actually preferred it personally if there was no colouring and the actual word Scuderia Ferrari was just in the refractor. If the refractor's underneath that. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. What do you guys think? So that's the other insert. So we've hit one of every insert now. How many parallels do we think are going to be in each box? I don't know if it says it on the box. I'll check after, but it's an element of surprise at the minute. We've got Valtteri Bottas with the portrait. We've got Arthur Leclerc. So Charles Leclerc's brother, who's now in F2. I wonder if he's going to be a big chase this year, especially if uh, Charles Leclerc does well this year. Ah, oh, we've hit a Mexico City art duo card. <laughs> I don't know. I I believe these are a case hit. So I think we got really lucky here with our first box. We've got a case hit with Mexico City for the art duo. Nice. What do you guys think of these? I love the Mexican flag painted on the car, going through that stadium which is obviously one of the most famous uh, sections of any race with the audience being all wrapped around that section. Looks awesome. Uh, yeah, Mexico City art duo. Get in, get in. <laughs> and then we have a Max Verstappen. Is that a refractor? It is. Driver of the day, hungry. What's the centering like on this one? It's a little bit over to the left. And actually, the cuts on the sides are not the best, I have to say. So I don't think that will grade very well because I don't know if you'll pick it up on camera but the edges seem really roughly cut so I wonder if that's going to be something that continues throughout the set let's find out so we've got an art duo and we've got a parallel I wonder if that takes place of one of the parallel hits Nico Hulkenberg we got Logan Sargent portrait Esteban Ocon in the cold checkered flag. Nice. I like the stars have gold in them as well. That's a pretty nice touch. Esti Besti. So these are numbered out of uh, 50. This is image uh, parallel number two out of 50. Nice one. And then we have Alpine insert with the blue at the bottom. So it seems like they're matching the uh, text at the bottom with the team. And then I, I don't know how they're picking the colors at the top here. This one's like a orange. I don't know if that's to contrast the blue. I think we're gonna see the price of these cards fluctuate throughout this year because there's gonna be loads of news and gossip about Drivers changing from team to team. The silly season's going to be crazy this year with that huge news that Lewis is going to Ferrari. So as we hear about, I don't know, say hypothetically, Albon going over to Red Bull, there's going to be an influx of people buying Albon cards or bidding higher for them, the ones that end on eBay. So, But I think as that news changes week on week, we're going to see fluctuations in some of these cards in price-wise. Alex Albon, looking like a mad scientist in this one. Look at this one. He's got blonde hair, blue jacket, and he's wearing like crazy uh, sunglasses. He looks like a crazy scientist. We've got... Oh my God! Alex Albon, speak of the devil, we've hit an autograph. What a box! What? What a box! We've just hit... An art duo card in one box and an autograph of Alexander Albon. Not just a normal one, a gold out of 50. Oh, get in, get in. Smash the like button up if you like that hit. Woo, I wasn't expecting. Now autographs in these uh, boxes are one in, they say one in every three. So that means the next two boxes that I open potentially might not have uh, an autograph in them. But what a way to start. I was just talking about Alex Alb Albon being a potential card that's going to go up and down in price depending on where he goes. And uh, we've just hit his autograph in gold. Nice. Kevin Magnussen in a refractor. And we're about halfway through this box. What a box so far? Duo and autograph in one box. Unbelievable. Max Verstappen. 
Carlos Sainz. We got Victor Martins. Put a little bit of whitening fluff on it. This is for F2. This is a checkered flag. And we've got, we got future stars in the refractor. The same guy. What are the odds? We know that Tops like to uh, clump some of their hits together. So they've given me two hits of the same driver. So I consider the black and whites a hit. Uh, although they're not a numbered parallel. People do collect, you know, just the checkered flags or just the, the ray waves. Uh, I'm looking for the new Aqua wave and the, is it Fuish? I'm going to call it purple. Max Verstappen portrait. Get in. Nice one. I like, I like these portraits this year. I have to say they look better than 2021. Do they look better than 22? Mm, I'd say they're quite nice, actually. Uh, that's hard to say, actually. Not as nice as 2020, but definitely up there. Uh, I really like this um, Max one, and obviously we've already hit Lewis. We've got Gunther Steiner. I like the way that they've put the red around the edge that matches with the red of the Haas. That looks pretty cool. Again, the same with Kevin Magnussen for Haas. And then we've got a Max Verstappen camber card. Nice. And then we've got our next parallel, which is a green, a solid green. This is a 44 out of 99. You can see the numbering just down here in gold. 44 out of 99 for Ralph Bouchang. Solid green. Weirdly, it's green from the star to the star. So the stars seem to join up the parallel, but it's just refractor here. That's unusual. And then we've got Aston Martin, Amrico, Hosnian, Formula One team, Fernando Alonso. So they haven't gone for the team color down there. So they, they've, they're not picking team colors for the right and down below. Um, yeah, really funky colors palette that they're using for those uh, inserts. What do you guys think about it? Obviously, I want to hear your thoughts. I'm opening these up, just sitting here by myself. So, you know, if you don't comment, that means no one's giving me any feedback. <laughs> right, so we've got about another six packs remaining. Sorry this video's been longer than my usual videos, but um, in the future, obviously, we'll fast forward the base set and refractors and stuff and just show the hits. Uh, but obviously, it's my first time seeing the set, so uh, I wanted to get it on video. Monte Carlo win for Sergio Perez. I like this image of Sergio Perez. I think that's a really cool one with the uh, the way they've made him highlighted and the, the team sort of faded out a bit there. That's a cool one. I like that one. Oh, look at this. So this is Iwada. But what they've done this year is rather than using the... Uh, the color parallel before it would be like a purple all the way around and then they would have a smaller green line on the inside that's how you knew it was a short print uh, non-numbered parallel this year they've split the card in half and gone for half green half purple i don't know what do you guys think of this again this is something that in the group chat people either love it or they hate it so I'd love to hear your thoughts. Obviously, everyone's one way or the other online, aren't they? But um, I don't know. What do you guys think of this? I bet in some cards, this looks amazing. In other cards, it probably doesn't look as good. Um, this is Iwaza in the uh, portrait. So I'm glad I've hit him. And we've got Future Stars, Roy Nissany for the Refractor. I have to say, there's a lot of, I don't know, like dust or I'm going to call it dandruff. <laughs> There's a lot of dandruff in these uh, cards. I don't know if that's just where the cards were cut a bit rougher um, and they've left like white dust settling on other cards. Uh, but there seems to be a lot of it in this, more so than other years. Uh, it reminds me a bit like Flagship. Flagship had a lot of that. Uh, but because they were white cards, you didn't really see it as much. Because these are chrome, they stick out like a sore thumb. We've got Roy Nissany for the uh, base portrait. What's this one? Award winners. I like the way the uh, lights, you probably can't tell, it almost looks neon, uh, the way that then the, the uh, brake lights are lit up on the back of that Red Bull. That looks pretty smart. Award winners for Red Bull. We got a Grand Prix winner for Max Verstappen. And we got Speed Demons for Alan Prost. Nice. 
And then we have that image there of uh, Sergio Perez that I said I liked. Now in a refractor. I can tick that off my list. So we've only got one legend card. Do you reckon we're only going to get one legend card per box, maybe? I don't know. Esteban Ocon. We've got Victor Martinez. George Russell. And we've got the Camber card for George Russell as well. Of Max Verstappen. I think he's got like four Camber cards. I don't know why he's got four Camber cards, but there you go. We've got Frederick, uh, Frederick Vazur for Ferrari team boss. This is the first year where he's featured as a Ferrari team boss. Enzo Fitzapaldi. Hey, this is the purple lava cards that I said that is new for this year. So this is a set that I am going to have to try and chase. So if you have any of these that you want to move on, sell, trade, please get in touch with me. Uh, you can see down there, it's out of 250. This is a Fernando Alonso one. So I'm going to try and complete a whole set in this and the uh, blue or aqua uh, wave when, once I see it. Uh, so we're going to try and complete a whole set of these. So make sure you get in touch with me if you have any of these spare. Ah, oh, look at that. Amber, Michael Schumacher. No car in the background. That would have been beautiful to see uh, his car in the background. But that's a, uh, a very striking image of Michael Schumacher there. Pretty cool. That's probably the best camber I've oh, seen. Hasn't got the car in it. Well, that's it. Let's have a little recap then of what we've hit. Let me just sleeve and uh, semi rigid this lava hit. So, what do we get from a box, or what did I get? Obviously, we got lucky with that autograph, um, and we got lucky with the art duo as well. So, we got one. Two, three, four, five, biggest hit at the box. Six, seven, eight hits. So eight hits out of 20 packs. Not too bad. That's one in two and a half packs. Not too bad. And then from that, we also got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight refractors. We got one legend card. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven camber cards. We got about three speed demons and we got three of the, I'm gonna call them world of wheel set, plus obviously a bunch of base. There we go. That's the very first unboxing of Chrome 2023. I need to learn this product pretty quickly because I will be ripping open Four cases of this on the very first night at midnight, day of launch. Then I'll be opening it up on Friday, the release date, then Saturday and Sunday. So I'm going to be ripping open lots of this. So I need to learn it pretty quickly. Make sure if you want to take part or even just watch some more unboxings of Chrome 2023, head on over to my whatnot page, which is Hammond's Hobbies. The link is in the description down below. And if you sign up, you can get £10 of free credit. Like I say, on the Friday show, we will be giving away a George Russell mini helmet uh, from DRM. Um, so make sure you get involved in that. Thanks to Whatnot for supplying this. So we've got a George Russell mini helmet. Plus, we'll be giving away some free packs. So you might just watch the show, not buy anything, and you may end up winning a pack that will get sent out to you free of charge anywhere in the world. So uh, make sure you join me over on Whatnot over the weekend. I'm looking forward to ripping an open... <laughs> loads of this product so i'm sure we're going to see many hits hopefully a lot more autographs uh, but what a way to start get in that's it from me guys i'll see you on the next one bye for now